Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. So as per DRDO, SWIFT is an indigenously developed system with an objective of bridging the technology gaps towards design and development of an indigenous futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft or FUFA. This technology is the lead in for the national goal to develop FUFA or futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. SWIFT is also a scaled down version of Ghatak, which is going to be a bigger UCAF. It is being developed to prove three important technologies. These are unmanned, stealth and high speed autonomous landing technologies. SWIFT uses indigenous system for navigation, guidance and control, indigenous flight control computer and all other avionic systems. The control law and software are developed and tested in-house. Talking about its specifications, SWIFT has all-up weight of 1100 kg. It has wingspan of 5 meters and has a length of 4 meters. It will have a range of 250 km in line of sight. The UAV has service ceiling of 6 km with endurance of 1 hour. At present, SWIFT is powered by Russian NPU Saturn 36 MT turbofan engine and the plan is to replace it by Manik small turbofan engine or STF at later stage which is undergoing test on indigenous technology cruise missile or ITCM cruise missile. SWIFT will have the cruising speed of 0.6 Mach. It will have two hard points and each hard point will be capable of carrying 50 kilograms of payload. Talking about its status, on 1st of July 2022, SWIFT took its first flight at ATR, that is Aeronautical Test Range in Chitradurga, Karnataka. In the trial, it proved its takeoff and landing capabilities. SWIFT can auto take off and land at a speed of 70 meters per second. Now recently, HAL's test pilot Harshvardhan Thakur sir has shared a picture of SWIFT UAV which is under development. While the airframe of the stealth UAV is ready, many parts are still under process of integration which we can figure out from the image shared. The UAV is being built by HL and production of one more SWIFT is a positive indication towards the development of the stealth UAV program. This program is extremely critical for DRDO as it's going to be the technology incubator for the futuristic development of stealth and unmanned aircraft programs in India. Learning from the SWIFT UV program, Ghatak will be built, which will be a scaled up version of SWIFT UAV and will be India's stealth combat UCAF. It is designed based on the flying wing concept, which is a tailless and undefined fuselage. One of the most important characteristics of UCAV will be stealth. As per DRDO, 70% of its stealth will be achieved due to the design, that is shape of the UCAV, and the remaining 30% of stealth will be achieved using radar absorbent material and coating. The UCAV will have internal weapons bay. In fact, many of its features will be common to AMCA project, which is under development by ADA. It will be able to carry various types of missiles, bombs, and precision guided munitions. Katak will have an onboard mission computer, data link, fire control radars, identification of friend and foe, and collision avoidance system. It will be capable of flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet and weigh less than 15 tons. The UCAP will be powered by a dry variant of Carberry engine. This variant will have the core of turbofan engine. However, it will not have the afterburner section. The engine can generate thrust of 46 kN and has maximum weight of 1180 kg. DRDO is planning to complete its development in next two years. As per reports from the Financial Express, the full-scale prototype of Ghatak UCAM will be put under test by the end of 2025. Indian Navy is also interested in procuring the deck-based UCAF for the aircraft carrier and landing platform docks. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.